In the world of aviation, routine flights can quickly turn into terrifying moments. So what happens when even the most skilled pilots face the unexpected? Today, we're showing you some of the most unbelievable scenes ever captured in the skies. Because up there, every second counts. What started as an exhilarating jump turned into a race against time as the aircraft began to sputter and lose altitude due to a collision. Luckily, all passengers aboard made it down safely. With adrenaline pumping and panic setting in, the skilled pilots fight to regain control. This Havilland Beaver plane takeoff seemed awesome until… But in a perfect twist of fate, everyone involved walked away without a scratch. Somewhere in the Illinois sky, a routine flight took an unexpected turn when a Canadian goose crashed through the windshield. First flown in 1943, the Vampire WZ-507 has a takeoff speed of around 100 knots, making it a nightmare for bad airport roads. As this pilot aimed for the makeshift runway, things started to go sideways, literally. Someone's gonna need some new landing gear, and that's for sure. Built in 1987 to replace the Challenger, the Space Shuttle Endeavour embarks on its final journey from the Kennedy Space Center. It's a moment that reminds us of human ingenuity and the incredible adventures that await beyond our atmosphere. In this clip, we see the massive AN-2 Colt, a Soviet-era biplane, coming in for what was supposed to be a smooth landing, but things didn't go as expected. The aircraft touches down way too early, well short of the runway, likely due to pilot error, but thankfully, no injuries were incurred. In this jaw-dropping moment, a wing walker takes flight to an entirely new level. I mean, come on, even I'm getting dizzy. Jet blasts can reach speeds of over 100 miles per hour, powerful enough to blow over heavy vehicles just like this one. Here comes the Su-24MR with a low pass so close, you'd think it's trying to read the fine print on the runway. In a true display of mid-air teamwork, we've got one KC-135 Stratotanker refueling another KC-135 Stratotanker over the Arctic Sea. It's like they got the ultimate airborne pit stop. The Dreamlifter, one of the largest cargo planes in the world, pops a wheel mid-departure. But don't worry, this giant bird still managed to safely soar through the skies. Talk about a heart-stopping moment. Right after takeoff from Denver Airport, a large chunk of the Boeing 777's engine decided it wasn't coming along for the ride. Luckily, the plane made a safe emergency landing and no one was hurt. Here's one of those uh-oh moments for skydivers, a reserve parachute deploying by accident. 
Good thing most skydivers are well trained to handle these unexpected moments. Ever seen a small airplane take a detour? Well, this pilot certainly did. Glad to report the pilot was safe after this. What happens when an aircraft travels fast the speed of sound? A supersonic low pass and glass shattering shock waves. These two pilots are about to attempt one of the most dangerous stunts ever performed, a plane swap, which is exactly what you think it is. The first pilot's transition was successful. However, things took a dramatic turn when the second plane lost control. Thankfully, both pilots emerged unscathed. With a maximum weight of just 254 pounds, the ultralight Carrera can be towed across the water while performing thrilling tricks. When taking off, an Airbus A320 with two engines could generate a combined 54,000 to 66,000 pounds of thrust. What's crazy is the spotters at St. Martin Airport know this already, and still they chose to stand so close to this beast. Here comes the mighty Thompson 78C, straight from London Lutton, ready to touch down. But wait, those crosswinds are fierce today, whipping through at up to 40 knots. You can see the plane battling to line up for the runway. So, at this point, I'm walking away, but this reporter decided to stay on her feet. Now that's way too close for comfort. Talking about staying dedicated to the story. Speaking of dedication, if you've been here this long, you might as well subscribe to our channel so you can check out more videos in the future. This AS350BA helicopter was having a bit too much fun at Bear Creek Lodge, buzzing the lodge during a hella skiing trip. The pilot eases back on the cyclic, but the rotor disc is under so much force that the hydraulic servos just can't keep up. Thankfully, no one was hurt. And he's like standing still. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, this isn't magic. It's an incredible optical illusion known as the parallax effect. Whoa. Uh, wow. Three hundred. Birds might look small, but they can pack a serious punch when they're going that speed. 100. Okay, so this might be a good time to tell you skydivers fall at speeds of up to 120 miles per hour. That's faster than your average roller coaster, just without the track. This is Windsor, Ontario, where speed meets skill at the Red Bull Air Races. Unfortunately for the pilot, his left wing dips, 
Not so much that he loses control of the aircraft, but enough to graze the water. Lucky for him, he quickly recovered and returned safely to the race airport in his slightly damaged airplane. Damage on the wingtip, um, but that looks like no factor. Um, uh, Jörg, you can uh, stand back if you like and I'll get Nigel uh, on there and uh, get an appraisal for him. Towels flying, hats blown away, and hair whipped about. This is what St. Martin is famous for. Wow, it's not every day you crash a plane and then get saved from an oncoming train. Fortunately, the pilot was pulled out before it happened and nobody was hurt. I just can't wait till these drone cake deliveries become an actual thing. Watch as these engines, pushing out enough force to move hundreds of tons, literally shred the road beneath them. From spoilt roads to destroyed fences, when this beast powers up, the fence at the end of the runway doesn't stand a chance. At St. Bart's Airport, there is no room for mistakes. Next up is Edinburgh Airport, where a couple of birds almost stopped this plane from taking off. Thankfully, it was still able to head to its destination safely. Meet Shockwave, a jet-powered truck powered by three jet engines, cranking out an insane 36,000 tons of horsepower. Look at it go! Takeoff may be routine, but from this angle, you can't help but appreciate just how incredible it really is. This Robinson R-44 helicopter, while dropping off a couple for their prom, got a little too close for comfort with some power lines. No harm, no foul, however, as the pilot skillfully takes control. Jay Leno stepping out of a cockpit mid-flight has to be the greatest sketch of all time. Ever wondered what happens when a massive Boeing 777 hits turbulence? Well, here you go. Now, I can't say to the practicality of this particular skill, but damn, that's impressive. Nothing crazy here, just a quick 400 to 500 revolutions per minute on this badass chopper.
Damn, well that's one way to take a break from the turbulence. Imagine looking out your window mid-flight and seeing your plane's engine fail in real time. There it is. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, it's hitting it. It's hitting that is cool. Yeah, you know we couldn't leave out the legendary SR-71 Blackbird. Designed for speed and stealth, this aircraft was the ultimate spy machine during the Cold War. As Storm Kathleen rolls in, our brave pilots are ready to face the crosswind landing challenge head on. Will they succeed? Find out in today's episode of To Land or Not To Land, Novella Edition. The Airbus A380 is often regarded as the world's largest passenger airliner, measuring at a whopping 238 feet long, with a wingspan that's wider than the height of the Statue of Liberty. Now that's how you're supposed to make a plane feel special. Just a little hand massage before takeoff. A plane experiencing mechanical issues made a belly landing safely at Los Angeles International Airport. Luckily, the very skilled pilot managed to make it out without any injuries. Wow, at that speed, I think it just broke the sound barrier and maybe some eardrums too? Looks like someone forgot to check their landing gear before takeoff. Red Bull really does give you wings. Just another day in the world of quick ejections and close calls. Thankfully, the pilots landed safely. Oh, that was a really hard landing. But these rugged helicopters were built for days like these, I guess. This is not just a quick paint job, but a line between destruction and survival. As the plane swoops in with fire retardant to prevent a home from burning during one of the Southern California wildfires. Oh my God. That looks like we The magnificent USAF F-22 Raptor jet is fast enough to reach speeds of over Mach 2 and boasts incredible agility, making it a formidable force in aerial combat. Here's what thousands of flight hours will get you, the ability to perform hair-raising maneuvers and dangle upside down at crazy altitudes. Yay, everyone's dream, right? 
Class 2023, you are... Talk about setting the bar too high for future graduations. The Air Force Academy Graduation Thunderbird Flyover is one of those spectacles that gets you jealous of the military. Put two former military pilots inside the cockpit of a Boeing 787 and the result is going to be nothing short of amazing. Fair warning, if you have a fear of heights, maybe skip this one. The infamous F-22 Cobra and Flare Maneuver showcases the Raptor's ability to maintain high angles of attack, allowing it to outmaneuver adversaries in combat situations. Next up, we have the incredible Concorde flying over Buckingham Palace. The Royal Air Force Red Arrows performs a spectacular display at the Royal International Air Tattoo RIAT, with some red and mighty BAE Systems Hawk T1s. The act of flying upside down, also known as inverted flight, requires a deep understanding of aerodynamics and the specific handling characteristics of the aircraft. Now, in more simpler terms, this pilot is badass! In environments where a jet can't perform a short takeoff, an F-35B can execute a vertical takeoff with a limited amount of fuel. Looks like his phone decided it wanted to have a solo adventure. The phone... Now here's a dumb way to lose a finger. Man, he is so lucky he didn't get hurt this time. Yeah, this right here, this is my worst nightmare. Forget about straight lines, life is all about angles. Oh. I didn't know splash landing was a thing. Just another day on the job for this pilot in his F-22. The Jumbo Corsair 747-400 with 875,000 pounds of weight showing off its size at Maho Beach. Who needs seatbelts when you can have the wind in your hair? Pretty good for his first time, don't you think? Ah! 
here comes the F-35, slicing through the air at a jaw-dropping 700 miles per hour. Meet Dario Costa, the first pilot to fly a plane through a tunnel and at an astonishing speed of 250 kilometers per hour, no less. This is aviation at its wildest, a gravity-defying dance that'll have you on the edge of your seat. I guess the engine on this Airbus wanted to make a fiery exit. That pilot definitely deserves a medal for best recovery. And this, my friends, is why landing a plane is generally considered to be more challenging than taking off. Sticking with the theme of bad landings, this is one flight that I would hate to be on. I don't think the Cincinnati fans were ready for this. Were you? The Cobra Maneuver is one of the toughest moves in all of aviation, so that makes this clip even harder to actually believe. Don't click off yet. If you love our videos, subscribe now and hit that bell. And wait, there is more videos for you right here on the screen. Just click on the one that grabbed your interest and enjoy. See you there.